In golf, it's to play on the Swedish tour again. Now the possibilities are endless again, so that's amazing. My name is Caroline Larsson and I come from Forshager in Värmland, 20 kilometers north of Karlstad. I started playing golf when I was eight years old and it was because my dad tricked me to join him at the golf course. And that's how I got started with golf. Later this developed into competing in golf and in my teens I became really interested in pursuing a career in golf as a professional golfer. I was looking forward to a year in which I wanted to qualify to get into the European tour and play on the Swedish tour. But then I got cancer and had to have my right leg amputated above the knee. So it became a real turning point in my life. From having two legs and going for a golf career to having only one leg and not really knowing about the future. I want to play golf. I want to ride my bike, I want to ride a horse, I want to run, all those things I want to do and that I'm really passionate about. That's quality of life for me. The most important thing is to really try to find your own way and your own solutions to everything. My way is not the way for everyone. The way I got through this, how I managed it mentally and how I got through everything. But it's something I want to share because I believe we can all be inspired by everyone and develop together to help each other. Because at the time when I came back, all the people around me were very important to me. The next step in my life is to continue with my lectures, to keep fulfilling my dreams. I still haven't run yet and that's something I really want to do. In golf, it's to play on the Swedish tour again. But for me it's also important to dream, to have goals for the future, to be able to strive forward, to move on, get motivation and inspiration above all and lots and lots of joy. My name is Paulina, I'm 26 years old and three years ago I looked at my arm and saw there was a tumor and it began growing so I had to decide to have surgery. I had surgery and everything got a lot complicated and I began, loss, I began losing the function of my arm and until I was not able to use it. They offered me two solutions, a arm transplant or bionic reconstruction. The arm transplant involved many risks that I was not willing to take. So I decided to make a bionic reconstruction and so I did. Well, I won't lie, at first it was very hard. The first time I saw myself in the mirror, I began crying because I was not used to seeing myself like that. But after a few months, I, I started to get over it and decided that this was my new reality and that I had to make the best out of it. And now that I have the bionic arm and I have a sense of more completeness and it helps me when I look myself at myself in the mirror and I still see two arms. Maybe not the ones that I used to have, but two arms that work and that will help me.
do my everyday chores. Well, the benefits is, for example, I was not able to even cut a lemon or um, I, I was not able to take my toothbrush and put the toothpaste at the same time. Now I'm able to do that. I'm able to do my everyday chores in a much more practical and easy way. And that for me is a quality of life improvement. Well, I plan to work. I would love to marry someday, have kids someday. I don't know, but now the possibilities are endless again. So that's amazing. I hope you like the educational videos from Best Care Forum. Please, if you have any suggestion, if you have any question, write your comment under the same video or contact us with 00971-5091-0216. My name is Esmail Nuri. I will answer you 24 hours, 7 days a week and email to us with the same email you can see on the display right now. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for using these educational videos to be able to provide better services to your community and to your patients.